Hey, what's up? My name's Chase, and today I'm going to show you how to group together objects in InDesign. Um, it's really simple. Uh, I have a spread open already with a ton of different elements on it. Um, I'm just going to start by clicking on the objects that I'd like to group together. And what that means basically is, is we're going to lock the objects together so that they move in unison wherever you'd like to move those across the page without maybe adjusting the spacing between the objects or you know, the size, just any, you know, any kind of variable that could change by you moving that object. We're going to make sure that it's locked together so that they move as one in unison. So let's see, I have this first object selected. I'm going to hold the Shift button and click on all the other objects I'd like to incorporate into the group. So I'm going to take these four things. And then I can do something as simple as Command-G. And you'll see now that there's one large binding box around all of them. And I can move all of them together. Um, and then after that, to ungroup the, the um, images or objects, uh, you're going to select the group. And then you're going to click on Object, Ungroup, or the shortcut, which is Command Shift G, and that ungroups it as well. Pretty simple. I mean, you can see now it's ungrouped. We can move all those elements independently. Um, before, they were all grouped together, and they would move as one. That's it. My name's Chase, and I showed you how to group elements together using InDesign. Have a good day.